Hello, welcome. It's another live lesson from the studios of Digital DJ Tips. And I have three very different wireless, battery powered speaker systems that work brilliantly for DJs. You cannot DJ wirelessly with Bluetooth, which is in everything nowadays, but you can with all of the speaker systems I've got here today. We've reviewed them all on Digital DJ Tips in the last few months. But people seem to be interested in this and there's people asking lots of questions about which one might be right for them and making a few errors about how they work. And so I thought it'd be nice to round them all up and correct some of those, some of those misunderstandings people have about these speakers. And at the end of today's live show, we're gonna be giving a pair of one of these away. I'll see you in 30 seconds time. Hello Ben, if you haven't been on one of our shows before and you're wondering what you're watching here, it's a recording of a live show you're watching. It's good because I'll tell you all about these speakers that we've got here and how they all work and how the transmitters work, how the batteries work and the pros and cons. But at the end, our students will ask questions which I'll answer live on the show. So it's better than watching a pre-recorded video about this stuff because they'll probably ask the questions that you're asking if I fail to do my job properly and cover everything in this opening segment, right? So what we're talking about here is Bluetooth avoiding speakers. These are all, all actually got Bluetooth in them because hey, any speaker that's wireless is likely to have Bluetooth in it. So yeah, you can use them with your phone to just listen to music, right? But when it comes to DJing, that's no good. And the reason that you can't use Bluetooth for DJing is something called latency. When you do something on your DJ gear, then it comes out of the speakers a little bit too late. So it feels weird. And so you need to have a, l a very low latency. Now I'm not gonna go into the technical details of all of these speakers because it's in the written reviews and you'll find the reviews over on the Digital DJ Tips website. Head over to Digital DJ Tips, click on gear reviews at the top here and you'll see reviews here. There's the one of the speakers here, there's another one here and the other one you'll find a little bit further down and you can also filter here by the accessory that you want. So if I click on speakers, then you can look at everything we're talking about here today and more. So that's how it works on Digital DJ Tips if you wanna find out more about this stuff. Today, it's more about giving you that overview. And so I won't go into technical details about how low the latency is, but trust me, it's low enough to DJ with, which is great. So. The thing is, these are three very different systems. So let's look, cut to the chase. I'll tell you what we've got here. We've got Soundbox, which is Sound B-O-K-S. I don't actually have the Soundbox speaker here in the studio with me because it's in the other studio. However, they look like this. They're big. This doesn't show you the size, but they're big, like as big as these. They're big square, rectangular, wooden boxes with big rubber corners on. Uh, we, so we've got the Soundbox system, which uses something called SCAR. This is SCAR. I'll tell you all about it in a minute. We've also got the III Unit 4s. These are the Unit 4s, a pair of them here. Very innovative speaker, as you can see, an awful lot smaller than these ones here, which are the Alpha Theta, I had to think about the brand there because it's changed recently, Wave 8 speakers. All of these are battery powered. All of these are ultra low latency wireless, which means you can use them without wires from your DJ controller to the speakers and from the speakers to each other. And all of these will work in a pair in that way as a minimum. So that's what the criteria is to be included in today's roundup. Before we get onto them then, why would you want to do this? Why would you want to go wireless when you can just plug a wire in? Well, some people just get hooked on it and I love it. You know, we've got it on our headphones, we've got it on our remote controls, we've got it on our 
keyboards on our computers, we, we don't like wires, right? So if you can get a really reliable system that works for hours and hours and hours without wires, hey, why wouldn't you use it? I think when you're DJing in some of the weird and wonderful positions we find ourselves in as DJs nowadays, then sometimes running wires around the place can be unsafe, you've got to tape them down and all that stuff. You can just go in there, put your speakers up, tape them down afterwards, out you go. For safety reasons, then it can be good if you're DJing outdoors, pool parties, but also, especially with some of the smaller stuff, like these smaller speakers here, which we'll talk about, you can take them with you to some crazy locations for live streaming, and you can get other wireless gear nowadays, like live streaming cameras that don't need wires, routers that don't need wires. So you could literally turn up with a full live streaming setup and you could live stream at the top of a mountain, no need to plug anything in, just turn it all on, power it up, press link, everything links up, even your broadcasting, and you can do everything without worrying about cables and all that stuff. So there is definitely a call for this stuff. You need to charge batteries. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be unreliable. So there's a downside to it. But look, if you're watching this, it's probably because you're interested in how it works and you're prepared to get over any of those hurdles. So how does it work? And this is where people get a little bit confused. So we're gonna look at each of these systems one by one. I'm gonna start with the most, if you like, probably the most conventional one. And that's this system called SCAR. Now SCAR is built into the sound box speakers that we were just looking at on the screen there. And by the way, that sound box generation three at 699 is a really good deal. Snap those, snap those up before they get rid of them. There isn't an awful lot of difference between them and the generation four. I just, uh, I just noticed that price drop there when I, when I dialed up their website. Yeah, our, our sound box speaker is in the other studio at the moment. However, uh, I can show you this, which is the system they use for their wireless. So those speakers have this built in. So they can talk to each other using this ultra low latency system called SCAR. You just press a button and they link to each other. So that's good. But from your DJ gear, you either have to plug into the first speaker or you have to buy one of these transmitters. Now this is a transmitter and a receiver for SCAR, S-K-A-A. -A. These are brilliant devices. You buy the transmitter and you plug your DJ gear, the output from the back of your DJ gear into your transmitter. It charges up by battery. That will then talk via the aerial to your sound box speakers and they can talk to each other as well and link up. So it all works wirelessly, but you do need to buy a transmitter if you're going to go down the route of the sound box speakers, which again, you can see on the screen here, which I thoroughly recommend. They're great speakers. Again, you can read our review of the sound box three. We haven't seen the four yet, but the sound box three, the one on the right there is a wonderful speaker indeed. And you can uh, make your own mind up. They're very loud. That's all I'll tell you. Uh, so that is one really well-proven wireless system that you could go get straight away. You just need to get a transmitter if you want to not run a wire that first leap from your DJ gear to the first speaker and they'll take care of themselves after that. So that's Soundbox. Now, I guess we ought to talk about the other big speakers here, which are the closest to them that I've got here with me today, which are these here. Now these are uh, much newer. They only came out a little while ago. The Alpha Theta. Wave 8 speakers. So again, these are a PA speaker, just like the sound box. They've got the PA mounting telescopic hole thing in the bottom so you can put your uh, stands in, into them and get them up on the stands and so on. These have got all the usual controls you'd expect from PA speakers. Again, we've got a review of these over on Digital DJ Tips. What I want to talk to you about here is specifically the wireless, the low latency wireless that you can DJ with and how it works. Because these are quite innovative. And they're quite simple in the way they work, which is where the innovation is. So let me explain how they work. So again, same kind of thing, little boxes. This is the little box that plugs into your DJ controller that you need in order to transmit to the speaker. So this box here, uh, you plug your DJ controller in here and then press on, it's got a battery in it, and that will then transmit to the speaker. But here's the clever bit, this box actually lives and let's zoom in on one of these speakers here to show you. This is the side of the speaker. Now in here is where the box lives. So this box is mounted in the speaker here. Now it comes out, obviously on camera, I won't be able to do it, or I can do it, there you go. So it comes out and you can unplug that charging cable. So this can now go off and plug into your DJ gear and transmit to the speaker. But here's the clever thing. If you plug that in, and I plug that back in there, put it in there neatly, it's USB plugged in there now. I can close that like that, right? That's in there. Now, the really clever thing about this now is that, that speaker with that transmitter in is able to communicate with another speaker. 
And so the way that these work is you get, say you get a pair of them, you take the transmitter out of one of them, right? So I've taken the transmitter out of this one here. You plug that into your DJ gear. That now talks back to that speaker. Sorry, that now talks to this speaker, which has got a transmitter in it. And then this one uses the transmitter that's in it to talk to the other one. And you can actually do more than two that way. Now, I've only tested two. The clever thing here then is that you buy one of these, it's got one of these built into it, and you buy a second one, and you don't need to worry about these. You don't need to worry about buying these separately. On this system, you need to worry about buying these separately because in order to talk to the first speaker from your DJ gear, you need one of these. Whereas with these, they are each speaker has one built in. It just hides in there, charging away until you need it. When you do need it, you take it out of one speaker, plug it into your DJ gear, and then the speakers can still talk to each other using the transmitter that's in the, the second speaker and indeed any additional ones. So that's quite clever, the way the Alpha, Theta have done that. And so these are a no-nonsense wireless way. And of course, because they charge when they're in there anyway, then you know they're always going to be charged when you pull them out there. And these things last for hours and hours and hours, right? So that's how this system works. Uh, top marks for simplicity there. And again, you can go and read the full review of these over on Digital DJ Tips. But uh, they are in the same ballpark as the sound box. They are loud professional speakers. They've got the telescopic stuff on the bottom. You can plug microphones into them and all that kind of thing. The third speaker I've got here is this one here from III. Now these are very different. These are called the Unit 4s. Now these are, let's just get some of this other gear out of the way and I'll show you what we got here. These little speakers, again they can mount, see they've got a hole in the bottom, so you can mount them on a screw mount in this, this time. They can also go like wedge shaped like that, so you can have them wedged kind of down using as DJ monitors or maybe on your desk and they also stand up normally like this right so they're quite an interesting speaker the grill is magnetic so you can use them outdoors for tiny parties of course they're not very big uh, and they won't get damaged or you can take that off for the higher fidelity of using them indoors so quite a nice speaker but these are also low latency wireless these use something called W plus now W plus is their own system these are called sonic link in the Alpha Theta ones. W Plus is their own system and, the, and Rich, Richie Horton's had a hand in this one but ultimately ultra low latency right. These will talk to each other but of course you've got to get the signal from your DJ gear into these speakers and that's where these ones are slightly different to others and you need a bit of a hack but it works quite well. Now I'll tell you why that's the case. This is the transmitter that takes the signal and sends it to these two. Let's have a closer look at that. You see that it's a USB-C device. That's because this has got no battery in or anything. It needs to plug in. And I've tested it, plugging it into various things. It works fine plugged into a laptop to get power. And it also works fine plugged into a power bank. So you could attach this to a power bank. Now it does have a mini jack socket on it there. So you could plug this into a power bank. I haven't tested this, I've got to be honest, but I'm be I believe it would work. Plug this into a power bank and then plug your DJ controller into there, then it will talk to these two, right? That's one way of doing it. But a, a really curious way of doing it that I quite like is to plug this into your laptop directly, right? Plug this into your laptop and tell your DJ software to use your laptop as the master output, and most DJ software will let you do that. So then, it transmits via this to the speakers because you've told your DJ software to use your laptop as the master output. And you can still use the headphone socket on the front of your DJ gear. So this is designed really for producers, right? You plug this into your laptop, you have these little speakers here uh, set up at home uh, and you don't have to have uh, any wires. So they're designed for producers on the go. Say you're, 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 you're producing in a hotel room or something. Uh, again, just easy to set up and stuff. And with one of these, it's e plugging that in is easier than plugging in two wires and all that, right? So that's what they're for. However, that is a good hack to use them. As long as you're using a DJ controller with a laptop and software, it's a good hack for using them that way as well. However, I would like to see III launch a little battery powered transmitter that will plug directly into the back of your DJ gear without the need for any fuss as a, 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 an optional extra to work with these. These are really nice little speaker. I think if you want an all round speaker that will just do a bit of everything, you can have them at home, they're small, you can use one, you can use two, you can use them as DJ monitors. You can even use them for tiny parties like 10 people or something. But I think these are really nice, but obviously they're very different uh, to these bigger ones here. However, we're talking about wireless today and their wireless works really well as long as you can find a way for it 
it to work with this. So that is the three wireless speaker systems that we've tested. Now, I do know there are other systems out there. There's a lot of people who maybe use the same transmitters that you use for wireless microphones to hack this kind of system together. And I do uh, appreciate that I might not have covered everything on the market, but we like to test things before we talk about them. I've tested all of these. They all work really well. And I hope you understand a bit more about the pros and cons of them now I've had a chat with you about it. Now, I do want to show you over on Digital DJ Tips. Again, you can see the reviews just by going to speakers in our review area. Also, we have a article over there. Three innovative wireless DJ speaker systems is one right for you. And in this article, guess who? It's me telling you all about everything you just heard. So if you want to ask any more questions, you can do so underneath the article. If you're watching the recording of this or you just want to catch up on what I said, that literally went live just before we came on air today. However, in far more exciting news, we're going to be giving away a pair of one of these speakers. If I had a drum roll, I would be rolling it now, but I don't have a drum roll. We've teamed up with Alpha Theta, who have kindly said we can give away this wonderful pair of Wave 8 speakers that we have here. So if the idea of the Wave 8 and their transmitter and their no-nonsense way of having wireless uh, appeals to you. They're a nice PA speaker anyway, with all the usual stuff that you expect on a PA speaker. And of course, all of these will work wired if you want. They also all have Bluetooth, etc., etc. If the idea of a pair of these worth $1,800 is appealing to you, then you just need to go to djtips.co, djtips.co slash win. Easy, eh? djtips.co slash win. You will get to this page here, Enter your email address and you could be our lucky winner. The draw is announced on the 26th of April by email and on this show on Tuesday the 30th of April 2024. We will also update the post on Digital DJ Tips, the website, to tell the world the lucky winner. So again, a pair of Wave 8's worth 1800 Thank you, Pioneer DJ, for teaming up with us on this one. Could be yours. Just go and enter that draw at djtips.co slash win. Okay, folks, I'm now going to spend the end of our time together today talking all about wireless DJing, wireless speakers and so on with you because I have all your comments coming in live from YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, even Twitter right here, right now. So hello, everyone. Uh, good to have you here. Hello to our locals and regulars. Kesha, Mixmaster G, Don, The Ruckus, Baynard. Uh, good morning to everyone, says Baynard. Please hit those like buttons. You're my friend. Uh, hello to DJ Sunrise 256 in Uganda and everyone else tuning in wherever you are. However, I would like to now uh, see if you've got any questions specifically about this stuff, which is exactly what I'm doing now, scrolling through in order to do that. You don't like my music, says I would be nervous about dropouts going wireless. Yeah, but if you've ever used a wireless microphone, then they're pretty reliable. You just need to learn the tech you're using and know its limitations. But I totally, I get it, I get it. You're not going to get dropouts with a wire. That's for certain. But uh, it's all about practice, I think, and, and, and knowing, knowing that you can trust your gear by testing it. But yeah, get what you're saying. Uh, who's in the free prize draw, says Retro Robson, I'm sure. A lot of people will be in the draw. I mean, why not? It's free. Um, I'm more interested, says DJ Stu C, in losing power cables than audio ones. Uh, I, don't mind a I don't mind a nice XLR lead. Well, there you go. I mean, you can lose the power cables with all of this gear because it all has pretty heavy duty batteries in. Uh, but yeah, take your point there. Thank you for that. Uh, those sound box says you don't like my music again. They're single, right? They don't come as pairs. No, these don't come as pairs either. These come individually. These don't come as pairs. You buy these individually as well. These people do have a pack with two of those and the transmitter for a special price. Uh, but yes, these are all sold individually. The sound box, the wave eights, even the, the, the unit fours. Uh, that's very true. As are most high end speakers or higher end speakers for certain. Uh, so not to be a total nerd, but which ones have the best frequency response? Go look at the reviews. That stuff's all over there. And we link to where you can find it out if it isn't in the review itself. Uh, I'm looking for a small speaker that I can use for live streaming. I do like these. They've got no wires. They're so easy to carry around. You could just buy one of them. Uh, so do take a look at the Unit 4s if you want a micro speaker. They've, they've really impressed me, the Unit 4s, I have to say. Uh, what if I have two Bluetooth speakers that aren't the same? Is there a device to relay the signal between them? Yes, there is, but you, for DJing, A, there's no point because you're going to get latency, and B, it's starting to get a little bit fussy then. 
if you really like the idea of party mode with Bluetooth speakers, it's probably worth selling the cheaper one and getting another one that works with the, the, the more recent one that you own, um, where you just press the button on the top, right? We've all seen that, yeah? JBL and Bose, where you just buy two or three of the same and you press the button and they all link up. I mean, it's cool for YouTube and stuff, but not so good for DJing. In fact, it's horrible for DJing. Uh, right, so what else are we saying about latency? Ah, this is the system whose name I was trying to remember and I couldn't, so thank you. I think you probably remind me of this every time, John. Uh, John says it's probably worth checking out the Alto Stealth Pro Wireless Pro Grade Low Latency System. And I'll probably say this every time, but I'm screen grabbing what you said there. I like that screen grab noise. Uh, so I will hopefully be able to uh, remember that after we go off the air today and go do something about that. DJ Ed Lover says, I entered this morning. I'm so excited. Thank you to my team for putting the putting the uh, the link down there in the comments wherever you're watching this. So you can just click there, djtips.co slash win if you'd like to win uh, a pair of these Wave 8 worth $1,800. Big giveaway. Uh, right, what else are we saying? How would you rate the latency if someone dared to use these monitors for DJing? Well, as I say, these are all designed for DJing uh, with zero um, with, with very low latency, so I'd rate the latency excellent. Uh, so this is from uh, DJ Tulio Tool, who bought a couple of, of Mackie Thump Go speakers, uh, and you love them. Yeah, I mean, they're wired, but they're very good. I agree, we've reviewed them here on Digital DJ Tips. Lots of you saying that you have just entered an Easy DJ. Uh, easy DJ, you're looking for a job, you're certainly helping out. Easy DJ says, when you've entered, do be sure to go and verify your email. Indeed, check your email inbox. Right, we're done here today. I hope you've enjoyed the, the free lesson. Remember that we have got, over on Digital DJ Tips, a, uh, a piece where we look at these speakers and you can read all about them there. So if you missed anything that I've just shared with you now or you want to catch up, or indeed you want to ask a question afterwards, go take a look at the article on Digital DJ Tips that's live right now where I go into all detail about what I just told you. You can also find links from here to all the reviews of these, art of these uh, items that we've got on the website. Meanwhile though, for me, Phil here in the studio, get good, get out there, make the moments. I'll see you again very soon. Till next time, bye-bye.